Imagine suffering from a mental illness that causes you to believe your significant other is an imposter set on harming you, or which convinces you that books are for eating, or worse yet, that you have somehow become the walking dead. What if you felt like yourself one day and the next day someone else was in the mirror? Scary, right? Unfortunately for some people, these scary feelings are an everyday reality. While only a small percentage of people are forced to live with the mental disorders described above, the fact remains that 450 million people worldwide suffer from mental illness. In the United States alone, one in four families is affected. Experts believe that mental illness is an actual epidemic and the United States needs far more mental health services in order to help the people in need. While some mental disorders, such as depression, can occur naturally, others are the result of brain trauma or other injuries. We may all recognize the names of other more common mental disorders such as bipolar disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety disorder, or autism spectrum disorder. While all of these mental illnesses and many others that we did not list can be scary for those suffering, there are a few rare psychotic disorders that are especially terrifying. Below, we've described what we think you'll agree are the five scariest mental disorders of all time. Capgras delusion is a rare and unusual psychological disorder in which a person holds a delusional belief that a close friend or family member has been replaced by an imposter or a double. This condition is classified as a delusional disorder, which is characterized by persistent false beliefs that are not based on reality. The exact cause of Capgras delusion is not well understood, but it is believed to be related to abnormalities in the way the brain processes facial recognition and emotions. It can occur as a result of a head injury, stroke, dementia, or other neurological or psychological conditions. Symptoms of Capgras delusion may include Belief that a close friend or family member has been replaced by an identical imposter or a double. Feeling that the imposter is an alien or a robot. Lack of emotional response or detachment when interacting with the supposed imposter. Normal recognition of other people and objects. Attempts to prove or convince others of the imposter's identity. Treatment for Capgras delusion typically involves psychotherapy, medication, or a combination of both. Cognitive behavioral therapy may be used to help the person affected understand and challenge their delusions and develop more adaptive coping strategies. Antipsychotic medications may also be prescribed to manage symptoms of psychosis, such as hallucinations or delusions. Supportive therapy and family counseling may also be helpful to manage the psychological distress and to improve the person's social functioning. Boanthropy is a rare psychological disorder in which a person believes themselves to be a cow or an ox. This disorder is classified as a delusional disorder, a type of mental illness that involves persistent false beliefs or delusions that are not based in reality. The exact cause of boanthropy is not well understood, but it is thought to be related to a combination of biological, psychological, and environmental factors. Some researchers believe that the disorder may be triggered by stress, trauma, or other mental health conditions. Symptoms of boanthropy may include 
a persistent and strong belief that one is a cow or an ox. Behaving like a cow or an ox, such as walking on all fours, eating grass or hay, or making animal noises. Discomfort or distress when forced to behave like a human. Withdrawal from social interaction and difficulty functioning in everyday life. Treatment for boanthropy typically involves psychotherapy, medication, or a combination of both. Cognitive behavioral therapy may be used to help the person affected understand and challenge their delusions and develop more adaptive coping strategies. Antipsychotic medications may also be prescribed to manage symptoms of psychosis, such as hallucinations or delusions. Supportive therapy and family counseling may also be helpful to manage the psychological distress and to improve the person's social functioning. Apodemnophilia, also known as Body Integrity Identity Disorder, BIID, is a rare condition characterized by a strong desire to amputate a healthy limb or to be paralyzed. The person affected may experience a persistent and overwhelming sense that a limb or body part is not a part of their true self, and they may feel compelled to remove it. The exact cause of apodemnophilia is not well understood, but it is thought to be related to a neurological or psychological disorder. Some researchers believe that the condition may be linked to abnormalities in the way the brain maps the body, resulting in a distorted sense of body image. Symptoms of apodemnophilia may include a strong desire to amputate a healthy limb or to become paralyzed. Feelings of distress, anxiety, or depression related to the unwanted limb or body part. Attempts to self-amputate or injure the unwanted limb or body part. Fantasies or preoccupation with amputation or paralysis. Avoidance of social situations or activities that involve the unwanted limb or body part. Treatment for apodemnophilia typically involves psychological counseling and support to help the person affected come to terms with their condition and to manage their symptoms. In some cases, medication may be prescribed to help manage the person's anxiety or depression. In rare cases, amputation or surgery may be performed if other treatments are not effective and the person's quality of life is severely affected. However, this is a controversial and highly debated approach, as it involves the removal of a healthy limb and raises ethical and medical concerns. Alien Hand Syndrome AHS, also known as anarchic hand, is a neurological disorder characterized by the involuntary movement of one hand, which seems to operate independently from the person's conscious control. The hand may perform complex and purposeful movements, such as reaching for objects, grasping, and manipulating them, without the person's intention or awareness. This condition can be quite distressing for the person affected by it and can interfere with their daily activities. AHS is typically caused by damage or injury to the corpus callosum, the bundle of nerve fibers that connects the two hemispheres of the brain. This can be a result of brain surgery, stroke, infection, or other brain injuries. AHS has also been reported in individuals with degenerative brain conditions such as Alzheimer's and Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. Some of the symptoms of AHS may include Involuntary movements of one hand or both hands, which may include grasping, tapping, slapping, or waving. Uncontrollable movements that are often described as alien, independent, or oppositional and quad. 
the person affected may feel that their hand is acting on its own and may try to restrain it. Difficulty performing tasks that require both hands due to interference from the alien hand. Some individuals with AHS may also experience other neurological symptoms such as sensory loss, weakness, or tremors. Treatment for AHS typically involves physical therapy and other rehabilitation techniques to help the person affected regain control over their affected hand. Some medications, such as anti-epileptic drugs or anti-spasticity medications, may also be used to manage symptoms. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to treat the underlying condition causing AHS. Psychological support and counseling may also be helpful to cope with the psychological distress that may accompany this condition. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome AIWS, is a neurological condition that affects the way a person perceives their body and the world around them. The syndrome is characterized by distortions of perception, including changes in body image, altered visual and auditory perceptions, and a sense of time distortion. The name comes from the famous novel by Lewis Carroll, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, in which the protagonist experiences similar changes in perception. AWS is most commonly associated with migraine headaches, but it can also be caused by viral infections, brain tumors, epilepsy, and other neurological conditions. The exact cause of AWS is not fully understood, but it is believed to be related to abnormal activity in certain areas of the brain that are involved in sensory processing. Symptoms of AWS may include Distortions in the size or shape of objects or body parts A feeling of being larger or smaller than one's actual size, macro or micropsia Distorted perceptions of distance, sound, touch, and time Alterations in the sense of self or identity Episodes of depersonalization or derealization, in which a person feels detached from their surroundings or their own body Visual hallucinations, such as seeing objects or people that are not really there Treatment for AWS typically involves addressing the underlying condition that is causing the symptoms. In some cases, medications may be prescribed to help manage symptoms such as migraines or seizures. Therapy and counseling may also be helpful for individuals experiencing depersonalization or other psychological symptoms associated with AWS.